Hi everybody, Wicked Penny here. Today, I have a recipe for you. You're not gonna believe how easy. Well, yeah, you will, because all my shit is easy. So, anyway, who doesn't love banana bread? I know I love it. But it can be a pain in the butt. You gotta wait till your bananas get, like, you know, dead. Bring out the flour and the baking soda and the sugar and, you know, it can be kind of, you know, cumbersome. Well, I have a recipe for you today that has three ingredients. You said it, not me. No, wait. I did say it, not you, but now I'm saying it again. Three flippin' ingredients. I wanted to use the F word so bad, but it's early and it's the Lord's day. So anyway, I'm going to have a sippy sippy. So anyway, I'm going to bring you in. Not going to believe how easy. I'm going to put you down because you know what? We are a high-tech production here. Nothing but the best for Wicked Penny Brew uh, viewers. Okay, look at this. I'm even going to use this to make it even easier on myself. Ingredients. Three bananas. Ripe. Right? You can even put this on your forehead. For, 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 for shits and giggles like you used to do when you were a kid. Um, I know I did. My mom would take us to the supermarket and we would all go up to the bananas and just peel the Chiquita thing right off. Okay, look at this. So, I need a forky forky. Because we got to mash these babies. Mashy mashy. Really, really good, guys. Mashy mash. Okay. Now, it'll be easier to mash them. I mean, my, these are ripe, so, I mean, look. Mashed. Right in this little cuppy cup. Okay. Now, two eggs. Now, when I say three ingredients, yeah, obviously, it's banana, eggs, and then there's, you know, a secret ingredient. So, you can't count three bananas and two eggs. I know how you people think. That's five. Come on. Whippy, whippy. Really good, guys. You know why we don't anyone want any of that, you know. <clears throat> nasty, nasty. I can't say it. This is a family show. Not fucking really, but anyway. So, look at this. Mixy, mix, mixy, mixy. Can you see? Mashy, mashy. Till it's all nice and incorporated. Okay? Not taking me very long now, is it? Right? Especially if your bananas are nice and ripe. Okay. Now comes the secret ingredient number three. Okay. Oh, I need a little plate to put my forky fork on. Okay. This is it. Yeah. Chiquita sticker. <laughs> Hang on. I need a sip. Mm. Mm. All that whipping made me thirsty. Okay, look at this. Yellow cake mix. Make sure you use yellow, guys. And you know what? I'm going to give you a little um, little tipsy tip. You want to use chocolate? Feel free. Then you got a nice chocolate banana bread. Look at this. Yellow cake mix right in there. That's the third ingredient. Stirring it up. Stirry, stirry. You see, I'm incorporating all the eggs in the banana. Yep, that's what me doing. You don't add any other water. You don't add anything. Well, you could add mix-ins, guys. You could add walnuts, pecans, chocolate chips, whatever you want. And as a matter of fact, look at that beautiful bread dough coming out. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't. You want to bring out all your shit in your cupboard? Feel free. Oh, it smells so good. Look at it, just like banana bread should look. All right, I got it going, I got it good. Now, do not judge me. This pan has seen better days. It has. So maybe I'll, you know, I'll treat myself. Oh, I, I pre-grease this loaf pan as well. 
you know, when you see a pan like that, you know it's seen its day in the oven, right, guys? Get it all out. But that means that you've used it and abused it. No shame in that game. Got to You got to be leery of people that their cookware looks like it hasn't been touched. Okay. Because you know what? It probably hasn't. They're the takeout queens. But look at this. Look at I mean, come on. Really? But you know what I'm doing? I'm going to do that. You could say this is the fourth ingredient, but it isn't. This is optional. I'm going to sprinkle mine with like a half a cup of chocolate chips. So I'm going to have like a chocolate banana bread loaf. Okay? This is optional. It's not one of the ingredients to make the bread. This is just to make it nice for me. Okay? Look. Okay? Yeah. That took all of four minutes. Okay? Bread is in the oven. Let me bring you up. Let me bring you back so we get a nice camera angle. Okay, guys. It's going in the oven. I'm going to finish my Kahlua and Coke. It's going to be in the oven. 35, 40 minutes. You got to watch it and, you know, use a fork to see when it's done like all breads. If anybody would like one of these stickers, feel free to leave a comment um, on my page and uh, I'll see what I can do. So I'll be back once the bread is done and cooled so we can slice it and try it out for ourselves. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. The bread is done. The banana bread. I took it out of the oven and I put it aside and I let it cool properly. When I, since I started making these videos, I'm starting to follow directions a little bit. I'm always too antsy and I rush things. So I wanted to get it just right for you guys. Ah, oh, dang it, where's my drink? Oh, I found it. It's over here. This oven. I just shot a couple other videos while the bread was cooling. Oh, I forgot to mention my hat. Yeah, baseball season's coming. Go socks. Hate the pats, love the socks. Go figure. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna zoom down. We're gonna try to take the bread out. I don't wanna flip it, cause you saw that I put those chocolate chips on there. So I gotta like kinda scoop it out and I've never done that before and I don't know if it's gonna be disaster or not. So we're gonna have to keep our fingers crossed. There, look at that beautiful bread. Look at guys. <gasps> Three ingredient bread. All right, so I got this spatula and I'm gonna, gonna bring it right over here and let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my God, it came right out. Guys. Oh my God. Holy hell. I don't know if that was because it was cake mix and not that, that banana bread batter. Guys. Oh, holy hell. Look at that bad jam and mama. Oh my God, guys, we got to take a cut. We got to slice into this baby. All right, here we go. I'm going to take a nice slice. Oh my God, look at that color. Look at that color. I'm going to put it on my plate. Look at that. The chips. Look at that color, guys. Bright. It's yellow because of the cake mix, so that banana, you can see the real chunks of banana in there. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'd be a goddamn liar if I was. This is how I eat my banana bread. Look at it. Oh, my God. With butter. And look, it's still a little warm. <laughs> All right. We got to have a bite together. Yeah. Do you believe that butter? Who puts butter on their banana bread? Me do. Oh, guys, look. Oh. Uh, look. Mm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I would put nuts in it next time. I like a little crunch in it. The banana flavor is, is out of bounds. Look at my butter's melting because it's still a little warm. Do you believe how easy it came out of the pan? Guys, never in a million years. Never, ever, ever would I have thought that would have happened. I swear to God, not planned. 
I mean, I can't believe it. Look at this freaking loaf, how perfect it came. Not going to lie, I think in the beginning I told you it was a little, it took a little less to cook, but it took almost a full 50 minutes to cook. It is not dried out. Mm. All right, guys. This is a must. A must do. It's absolutely insane. It's so good. There, I'll do recipes coming up, what you can do with banana breads after the fact. I'm not going to give you hints now because that would ruin the recipes for later. So... Like, subscribe, share, thumbs this shit up, please, please, please. And if you want to leave a comment, I love them. You know that. I'm starting to make recipes that people are starting to send in. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, shoot me a, an email if you want, penny.wicked at gmail.com. Tap your bell so you don't miss, up on any, uh, miss out on any notifications. So I'm going to go back and enjoy my banana bread. And you guys have a great day. Peace.